Her daddy calls her Shrimp, but her real name is Miss Peggy Montgomery now that she's a star. Photoplay, November 1923. Baby Peggy's rise has been meteoric. Less than five short years ago, she was such a sickly infant that her father, then a forest ranger, took her into the pine woods and kept her there until her health became normal. When she was a husky two-year-old, she made her film debut in Century Comedies, and her unique popularity has increased by leaps and bounds ever since. Now she is almost in the Coogan class, for she has just signed a contract with Sol Lesser of Principal Pictures. She affixed some sort of signature to the papers herself, and after it was all over, she cried a little, just to show that she, like other female stars, has a bit of temperament. Mr. Lesser estimates that four pictures a year will be made, at a total cost of $1 million, and that Baby Peggy's share in salary and interest will be close to $200,000. Part of this amount was paid in advance and will be put away as a trust fund for the child. Baby Peggy works in the studio every morning and spends some time each afternoon with a governess. She knows her entire alphabet and can count all the way to 100. She likes to romp, but she's something of a tomboy, for dolls bore her unless they are gowned in the latest fashion. The starlet confesses, lispingly, to a love of laces and ribbons and frilly hats and tiny fur muffs. She's all woman, although she does lack the maternal instinct. She likes to go shopping and, whisper it, every week she receives a magnificent allowance of four dollars to spend just exactly as she chooses. That's a lot of money for one small girl. The names of the four pictures for this year have not been announced, but it is said that they will be adapted from famous books. Photoplay, this is a suggestion, would like to see Baby Peggy cast opposite Jackie Coogan in that immortal tragedy of love and extreme youth, Romeo and Juliet. A Demitas Star Photoplay, February 1923 Of course she has her own car. In fact, she has two. In confidence, Baby Peggy will tell you that she infinitely prefers the one at the left. Below, she is quite obviously posing for a picture. She's never as tranquil as this unless there's a camera around. One of those spoiled screen children? Well, does she look like that? When she rolls her big black eyes, she makes Paula Negri jealous, or so they say. Baby Peggy is filmdom's real baby vamp. Montgomery is her last name, but she doesn't need it. The world knows her as Baby Peggy. Not one of your curled and frilled starlets, but a bobbed, banged, comical child of three, with more humor in one diminutive finger than grown-up luminaries have in ten manicured digits. She has made 37 pictures. She's been on the screen since she was a year and a half old. Right now, she's making a series of famous fairy tales, Hansel and Gretel, Jack and the Beanstalk, Little Red Riding Hood, all the old favorites. Sentry stars her, but one of her best roles was in Marshall Nealon's Penrod, for which she was rented out. The first important event in her life occurred when she was three weeks old, when her father gave her a spanking for crying without sufficient cause. She still gets spanked, but she never cries unless the director tells her to, and she doesn't use glycerin either. Baby Peggy, excuse us, Miss Peggy Montgomery, has adopted the expression of an infant Dulcie. In the oval, she would seem to be the screen's youngest and most delightful dumbbell. The smaller picture proves that she's only acting a part. Baby Peggy, small feminine runner-up to Jackie Coogan, registers an emotion. It may be joy, and it may be expectation, and it may even be fear, or, taking the ruffled dress and panties and the snappy cut-out sandals into consideration, it may even be extreme satisfaction. Baby Peggy, Jackie Coogan's only rifle, was recently presented with a beautiful little handbag, which has been named after her. I've got all my money in it, she says, a whole three dollars. Baby Peggy looks as pleased as a chubby little kitten who has just had a canary for breakfast. Perhaps it's because she was born, not so long ago, under a lucky star. Or is one. Jackie Coogan's closest rival she is, and his most ardent admirer. Is this the face that launched a thousand ships, of which Homer wrote? No, but it's the face that is insured for $250,000, and it belongs to five-year-old baby Peggy Montgomery. Lloyd's has insured it against blindness or any disfigurement which would prevent that little star from playing before the camera, 